Aztec Ruins National Monument recently hosted its fourth annual American Indian Cultural Arts Fest. Free to the public, it took place in the nicely shaded picnic area of the park, where jewelers, potters, painters, and weavers demonstrated their techniques while selling their traditional and contemporary creations. You're watching the Local News Network, brought to you by Sunray Park and Casino and Three Rivers Brewery. Head park ranger Nathan Hatfield said 20 or so artists come every year from various Southwest nations, including Zuni, Hopi, and Laguna. The performing artists, the Pueblo Enchantment Dancers, come from Acoma Pueblo, a national historic landmark 60 miles west of Albuquerque. Believed to be the oldest continuously inhabited community in the United States, Acoma Pueblo is the home of Potter Lee Veo. He paints designs with a yucca leaf using hematite and spinach juice for the color black. Yes, it's going to be all painted um, with lime. It's called the rain, rain, rain design. So, so um, of course, us natives, we always pay, praying for rain. So, Eugene Joe is a Navajo from Shiprock. He works with sand, but is not a traditional sand painter. Well, I'm a sand artist. I'm not a sand painter. Sand painting is more like uh, traditional, which is done in the hold on for sick patients, sick people. And they're done in traditional ways in the hold on. But we changed it to an art form. I do my, I call it contemporary sand art. So I teach that also in schools. After Joe collects colored rocks from the desert, he grounds the pieces with an old-fashioned meat grinder. And these are the natural color sand that you can find in the surrounding area, the Chipre area, the Navajo Reservation. So this, we just work with this natural color sand. Master weaver, textile, and fiber artist Roy Cady lives and raises his Navajo sheep in Goat Springs outside of Tisnos Post in Arizona. His wool is hand processed and hand spun. He dyes it with local vegetation. This one here is um, lupin. And then the one back here is uh, coming from rubber plant. So they all vary. And then I have some indigo up front, some sage up here, some red cabbage, and then a lot of indigo on the side. And then some of these are just the natural colors from the sheet. Randy Tekpu is a Hopi from First Mesa, Arizona. He's working on a pot of his Navajo wife's design to keep her artwork alive. She suffered a major stroke three years ago. Her father was a medicine man who gave her permission to use the symbols on the pot. What these represent in my wife's ways is this line is the father, that's the mother, and all the dots are children and grandchildren. They're working their way up in life, trying to do their best. And this is the ups and downs of life that we go through. And then the eagle feathers, those are prayer feathers for guidance and protection. And all the little dots are stars. The teepee with the fire burning inside is for ceremonials. And that's the God's eye that watches over us. The American Indian Arts Fest is made possible with help from the Chaco Culture Conservative a nonprofit organization that supports education, interpretation, and funding for the Aztec National Monument and Chaco Culture National Historical Park. To donate or volunteer, go to chacoculture.org. Thanks for watching this edition of the Local News Network.